Archaeologists have made an incredible discovery under the Grand Canyon, a vast underground city with a mysterious origin and purpose. This hidden city's size and complexity have surprised experts, sparking ideas about a lost civilization. Here's what we know so far about this strange find. The story begins in 1909. On April 5, 1909, the Arizona Gazette reported a discovery of a large underground citadel in the Grand Canyon. The explorer, G. E. Kincaid, found this city while traveling down the Colorado River. The southwest is home to many ancient ruins from cultures such as the Hopi, the Chumash, and the Anasazi, but the city described in the Gazette article is clearly different. The article states that the race who once inhabited the cavern were of oriental origin, possibly from Egypt. Upon entering the cave, Kincaid describes finding mummies as well as a shrine containing the idol or image of the people's god sitting cross-legged with a lotus flower or lily in each hand. The cast of the face is oriental, and the carving shows a skillful hand, and the entire is remarkably well preserved, as is everything in this cavern the idol most resembles Buddha. Unlike other ruins from well-known groups like the Hopi or Anasazi, this city seemed unique. According to the article, the people who once lived there may have come from Asia, possibly Egypt. Exploration by the Smithsonian The Smithsonian Institute, led by Professor S. A. Jordan, has been exploring this underground city, which sits about 1,480 feet below ground. The main passageway is almost a mile long, with multiple side passages leading to hundreds of rooms. Artifacts found there suggest that these ancient people were skilled and possibly from Asia. The items include sharp copper tools and weapons that show this civilization was highly advanced. Evidence of ancient cultures in the Grand Canyon Over time, archaeologists have found signs of ancient cultures dating back around 12,000 years in the Grand Canyon. They've uncovered tools from groups like the Clovis and basket maker cultures, as well as from ancestors of present-day indigenous groups like the Hopi and Navajo. The oldest artifacts, such as spear points, are from 9200 to 8200 BCE, made from materials like pink silica from the nearby Chuscar Mountains. Other findings include small wooden carvings of animals, some with tiny spears, which may have been used as talismans about 4,000 years ago. The basket maker people, living there between 550 to 825 CE, were known for their tightly woven baskets that could even hold water. Some of their pottery with traditional patterns has also survived in dry caves. If you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.